Hello and welcome to the Petersburg High School Athletics Virtual Awards Program for Winter Sports 2021. This program was created to acknowledge and celebrate our student athletes and coaches for their continued hard work and excellence in various sports. I am Adrian Harris, Assistant Principal, PHS alumna, and your Mistress of Ceremonies for this awards presentation. On behalf of the Petersburg High School Athletics Department, administration and staff, thank you for joining us on this virtual celebration of our outstanding student out athletes. To begin our celebration, we will hear from our principal, Ms. Alicia Fields, followed by our superintendent of schools, Dr. Maria Petrie Martin, and our athletic director, Coach Bill Lawson III. Again, we thank you for being here with us today and we pray you enjoy. Good evening, I'm Alicia Fields, principal of Petersburg High School. Welcome to our Winter Sports Banquet, where we will recognize our student athletes for their hard work and dedication. Congratulations to those athletes and teams who made it to the next level and received recognition. Thank you to our coaches, athletes, and parents. Whether you receive an award tonight, remember you are all winners, and we are so proud of you. Again, welcome. I hope everyone is doing well. This is Maria Petrie Martin, the superintendent of Petersburg City Public Schools. And I'm so honored to be given this opportunity today to celebrate our student athletes of Petersburg High School and Petersburg City Public Schools. We are so, so very fortunate that our student athletes stepped up this year during this pandemic and we're willing to compete so hard and so valiantly during this challenging time. I'm very proud of our students. I'm very proud of the staff. I'm very proud of our families and the community, which has rallied around our student athletes to ensure they could be competitive and they could have this opportunity though it has been such a challenging time. Again, congratulations to all of our student athletes. We are proud of you and continue to keep up the good work. Greetings, I would like to welcome you, each of you to our 2020-21 Virtual Winter Awards Ceremony. This was a unique year. We had some great accomplishments with our various teams and athletes. And we are here today to celebrate and acknowledge the great strides that we are making in our athletic programs. Each athlete will receive a certificate for participation, whether they were a junior varsity or varsity team. And we will acknowledge all of them with certificates at the end of the program, where you will be able to pick up your certificates in the main office. The process for lettering in sports here at Petersburg High School. Once you have entered the ninth grade, you are eligible to receive a letter. In order to receive a P, you must have participated on a varsity team for at least five games. If you lettered in any sport, you will only receive one letter while at Petersburg High School. Your second year on varsity for the same sport, you will receive a gold emblem for that sport. Your third year on that team, you will receive a gold bar. Your fourth year participating on that team, you will receive a gold P with four stars. The lettering process is so that the athletes have a remembrance of their high school career, and you are now able to also buy online and purchase a letterman's coat. You can go to the website www.neffco.com, and the Petersburg colors have already been put on the site and you can add various things on your coat as to your athletic achievements. We are proud of our athletes here at Petersburg High School. Thank you, Coach Lawson. And now we will begin our actual awards presentation. We will begin with girls and boys indoor track coached by both Coach Jimmy Terry 
and Coach Jamie Moore. Boys Indoor Track. A few words from Coach Jimmy Terry. Hello, my name is Coach Terry, indoor track and field coach. This indoor boys season has been a challenging one, but the team has exceeded expectations and performed very well. We had a lot of athletes achieve personal best and qualify for regionals and state in their events. Overall, this season has been more than a success. I would like to take this time out now to highlight a few of our athletes this season. First, there's a young man that works very hard, going to practice every day, helping others out while still pushing himself to get better. I look forward to seeing this young man next season after all the hard work he put in. So this year, the Coach's Award goes to Connor Fedricks. The next young man I would like to talk about, every time he stepped on the track, he ran a fast time. Faster and faster, elevating to another level every time he stepped on the track. He came in first in the 55 and 300 meters in the regionals. In the state meet, he came in fourth in the 55 and 300 meters. That is why Israel Watkins will receive the top track performer award this year. And the last young man I would like to talk about pushing himself, he's been pushing himself since the summer to achieve a goal. We talked about last year, he's been working hard and now he's starting to see the hard work paying off. I can't wait to see this young man run next year, indoor and outdoor season. He's going to be the person to watch. That's why this year's indoor track and field MVP goes to Jonathan Bolden. Having a such a productive indoor season has put us right in line to have a good outdoor season and we can't wait to start on that this April. Thank you, Coach Terry. Let's see our recipients. The Coach's Award goes to Connor Frederick. Israel Watkins is the Top Performer Award recipient. And Jonathan Bolden is most valuable player. Ladies and gentlemen, boys indoor track. And now we have girls indoor track. A few words by Coach Jamie Moore. Thanks, Coach. I'm here to talk about girls indoor track. Let's start off with the wonderful weather and not knowing whether we're going to have a season or not did make an impact on us, but we did our best and uh, the coaches got together and we voted and we're going to start off with most viable player. Most viable player went to a sophomore that fell just an inch short away from making state. She was fourth in the region in Shopwood. Our most viable player is Jade Garcia. Good job, Jade. Then we got together also as coaches and talked about coaches award. And we thought about all the women that came to practice and everybody that always was there trying their hardest. And the coaches, we voted. And we voted Kaylin Jarman as our coaches award. Congratulations, Kaylin. Looking forward to next season and take care. Thank you, Coach Moore. Most valuable player, Jade Gracia. And Coach's Award goes to Kaylin Jarman. Congratulations, ladies. And now for the 2021 wrestling team. Here is Coach Keontae Owens with a few words about the wrestling presentation. Hello, Coach Owens here with the Crimson Wave wrestling team. And I'm excited to talk to you about our three individuals who started and finished this year's wrestling season. This season had a lot of red tape on a 100% contact sport due to COVID and for good reason. So we were faced with a lot of challenges that we won't normally face with during a regular season. Um, these three students displayed immense courage, discipline and poise with taking on this, um, the journey of this season. 
The first athlete I would like to speak on will be our most improved wrestler, Keith Young. Keith showed determination throughout the season and the progress from start to finish was phenomenal. Um, he showed up ready to work every day. Um, the struggles and the growing pains, he just pushed through it. And like I said, we were able to see from start to finish uh, a change, a difference, a progress. Um, at the end of the season, he ended up placing fourth in the 3A Regional Wrestling Tournament. So for that, I'd like to say congratulations, man. Um, next, we have our Iron Man Award recipient, which is senior um, Israel Watkins. Israel was an all-around student athlete. One you don't have to really worry about when it comes to academics, with him mainly pertaining a 3.6 GPA. One you don't have to worry about when you're wondering, is this person going to give it their all um, during a regular day at practice? He always came ready to go. Um, anything we threw at him, you know, it, it may have been a little tough, but he definitely didn't show up. And he ended the season placing third in the region 3A tournament and was also an alternate for the VHSL State Wrestling Tournament at 160. Um, like I said, headstrong kid, um, definitely going places. Uh, he got a couple uh, offers that he's looking at um, for um, a couple of um, institutions. And so we're trying to get that together now. So great job, son. Last but not least, our postseason warrior, Isaiah Evans. We nicknamed Isaiah Future when he first came to us because he was just following behind his older twin brothers. Um, Isaiah finished the season as the regional runner-up at 120 pounds, so, uh, um, 120 pounds in the regional tournament. And he also placed fifth in the VHSL state wrestling tournament. Now, we had our eyes, of course, set on a higher placing, but we were able to bounce back um, through adversity and was able to bring some hardware home. Um, from day one, <laughs> uh, one of his goals was to place um, in stakes before graduating. And also, his most important goal was to be better than his brothers in the sport. Um, now, I can't say for certain that, you know, he's better than his brothers because those are my boys too. But with a season like, a postseason like he just had, um, I can tell him that, you know, he definitely has an argument. So, uh, good job, son. Um, I would also like to thank the parents for the sacrifice, the support, and the buy-in mentality, as well as their um, allowing their young men to go through this difficult season. Um, one thing I do regret with, you know, the cancellations and things of this, um, you know, a couple matches, we wasn't able to get our two seniors, Isaiah Evans and Israel Watkins, a proper um, senior night. And um, so I plan on doing something special for them this summer, you know, uh, once everything um, calms down. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted so you can support as well. Um. Thank you, Coach Owens. Let's revisit our wrestling awards. Most improved wrestler goes to Keith Young. The Iron Man Award, Israel Watkins. And postseason warrior, we'll hear from the warrior himself, Mr. Isaiah Evans. Hi, right, my name is Isaiah Evans. Um, I did indoor track this season and I wrestled and like, I just want to thank all my coaches and everybody that helped us with this season. Cause you know, we got canceled and we had to come back. It was just, I think it was just a hard enough season, but I appreciate everybody what they did for us. And for my last year, I can go ahead and I knocked it out the way. And then like all my teammates, I really appreciate them. Cause like, it's like now we all tight and it's a close bond. And as I could just rely on them, or we can just talk about our season, how the season was. And then, how would it feel like to be a Petersburg athlete? 
great because I can just, you know, I can say, yeah, I went to Petersburg. I played a lot of sports. I had fun doing it. And it's like, it was just a fun thing to do. I had a good four years playing a lot of different sports. And you know, it, it, you just have fun. <laughs> Thank you, Isaiah. And congratulations to you and the other recipients. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our Lady Wave basketball team. We'll start with a few words from Coach LaToya Harrison. She's also supported by Wilona Johnson, Destiny Fuller, and Amelia Harris. Coach Harrison. This season was very different. It posed a lot of challenges as well as blessings. We were able to turn our test into testimony. I'm truly thankful for the opportunity to instill life lessons into each and every player throughout the season. I would like to thank the school board members again for giving us the opportunity to compete. I would also like to thank Coach Lawson for all the work that was put into making the season a success. I would like to thank the parents for trusting me with their daughters during this time of uncertainty. A huge thank you to my coaching staff for all the hard work and dedication that they put into the season. And lastly, thank you to my girls for weathering the storm that we face and push through until the end. The utility player of the year is Mariah Jones. Mariah possessed the IQ and drive to play all five positions on the floor. She guarded the best players from the opposing team and was the glue that held us together. Her hustle and skill helped us tremendously throughout the season. Mariah made second team all region. The defensive player of the year is Janai Houston. Janai is a scrappy on-ball defender. She applies pressure to whoever she is guarding and is able to force turnovers. She hustles on and off the court. Janai made second team all region. The offensive player of the year is Tanea Williams. Tanea played hard all season. She was able to make plays for us and, and was able to give us much needed baskets when we needed them, especially during the playoff games. Tanea made second team all region. The most valuable player was Ashanti Wright. Ashanti led the team in points with 157 points and also in rebounds with 160. She is a very athletic and scrappy player. She moved away last year, but came back and did not miss a beat from when she left off. Ashanti made first team all region. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Harrison. Let's revisit our Lady Wave Varsity Basketball Award recipients. We'll begin with our utility player, Mariah Jones. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Janai Houston. Offensive Player of the Year, Tanea Williams. Most Valuable Player, Ashanti Wright. Congratulations, Lady Wade. And now acknowledgement for our Junior Varsity Girls Basketball Team. Coach Destiny Fuller with a few words. Hi, my name is Destiny Fuller, JV head coach for the girls basketball this year. This season was a tough season for our girls, but it was a good, good group of girls. They always came to practice, ready to learn, ready to play. We always had fun. And I can't wait to see the girls next season. And I'm ready to see what the season can bring for us. Thank you, Coach Fuller. And now we have cheerleading coached by Tiffany Jones and Tiffany Banks. Coach Tiffany Jones. Hello, how is everyone doing? I am Miss Jones and I had the pleasure of working with the Varsity Cheerleading Squad this season. And I must say, it was a very enjoyable season. Um, so shout out to the parents, to the, my young ladies for just pushing through, um, even with COVID-19 and the pandemic and virtual learning and no pep rallies and parades and all the things that we're used to, we made it happen. So I'm just excited to be a part of the team. I wanna give a couple of accolades. So. 
So this year, we are going to award Miss Shamar Hawkins with the award for most dedicated. Shamar is a junior here at Petersburg High School. She has not missed a game or a practice, and so she's most dedicated. So, all right, so we are going to award Miss Sharkirian Lawrence with Hardest Worker. Um, Sharkirian, we like to call her Mississippi. She's a senior here at Petersburg High School, and we are so lucky to have her on the squad. Uh, most encouraging goes to Miss Tamari Jones Allen. She is a senior as well here at Petersburg High School, and this is her fourth year cheering. So Tamari um, has been captain here on the cheerleading squad throughout her tenure, and we're just so excited to have her. She always has an encouraging word for the girls. Our triple threat, Miss Paris Mason. She gets the awesome attitude award. Um, Paris is so sweet and we are lucky to have her on the squad. All right, so uh, Miss Kaylin Jarman, we are awarding her with top performer this year. If you know Kaylin, she is an all around sport. So Kaylin Jarman, top performer. And last but not least, Miss Talia Davis, best technique. She's also a senior here at Petersburg High School. So there you have it. I'm Miss Jones, varsity coach. Thank you, Coach Jones. Let's revisit our award recipients. Most dedicated, Shamar Hawkins. Hardest worker, Sharkarian Lawrence. Most encouraging award goes to Tamari Jones Allen, who also happens to be our homecoming queen. Let's hear from the queen herself. Hey y'all, my name is Tamari. I'm a varsity cheerleader at Petersburg High School. I'm also a senior, yes. This is my last year being at Crimson Wave. I've been to Crimson Wave since I was in the eighth grade, y'all, literally. I, be, I did JV and varsity of being a cheerleader. Um, my experience of being a part of the Petersburg athletic team, it's been fun, actually, you know, being around your coaches, getting to know them and stuff, you know, tryouts, being outside, you know, having a little fun here and there. And we're not practicing cheering, but overall, like the games, away games, especially the away games are my favorite. I love away games. When we do away games and stuff, you know, you get to see new people, get to see the tension between two teams come together. Like, it's really a fun experience, and I really enjoy myself, and it sucks that it's my last year, but I will always be a Crimson Wave, hun. I will always be a Crimson Wave. Thank you, Tamari. I believe you are always, that's right, will be a Crimson Wave. Thank you. And then we have the Triple Threat, the awesome attitude award that goes to miss paris mason top performer kaylin jarman and the best technique goes to miss talia davis congratulations ladies our junior varsity cheerleading team Let's hear from Coach Tiffany Banks. My name is Tiffany Banks. I am the Junior Varsity Cheerleading Coach for the 2021 20, school year. Um, I just would like to thank my girls for an awesome year we had, even though this year was a little different with all the COVID guidelines, um, cheering with mask on, staying six feet apart, but we this year would not have been possible without my girls, Cecilia Drew, Anaya McQueen, Onaya Procise, Janaya Chavis, Siamis Green, and Katrina Mercer. I just would like to thank you girls, and we're going to finish this um, season out with a bang. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Banks. And now we have the Crimson Wave boys basketball team. Head coach Ryan Massenberg is supported by Coach Robert Hill, Mike Anderson, Rashid Hines, Fizel Love, and Tyrone Jackson.
Good evening. Um, welcome to the Winter Sports Banquet for uh, Petersburg Varsity Boys Basketball for the 2021 season. Um, before I get started talking about the team, at first, it's just a couple of people that I would like to thank. Um, first and foremost, I would like to thank the parents for their continued support during the season and throughout this whole pan pandemic. I would also like to uh, thank my coaching staff, Coach Hill, Coach Hines, Coach Love, Coach Jackson, and Coach Anderson. Great job, guys. And I would also like to thank Coach Lawson, Ms. Fields, and the rest of rest of the administration for making this possible. Because without all of you, none of this would have been able to happen. Also, um, lastly but not least, I would like to thank my players. Um, the players did a great job because they had a lot, they had a juggle this year uh, throughout this uh, COVID pandemic with the virtual schooling and um, not knowing if we were going to play or if we were not, not going to play. And um, also with them having to play a big part in standing their own personal bubble to stay, to stay away from the COVID. So players, thank you and again, great job. Um, at this time, I would like to talk more about the season. Um, of course, the season didn't end the way with, that we wanted to end. Um, we ended the season eight and three. Uh, we lost in the regional 3-8 semi uh, championship game. I'm sorry. Um, so this is the second year in a row that we ended the season as uh, Region 3-8 uh, runner-ups. So once again, congratulations to the guys. But um, we got to make uh, big steps to make that next job, uh, big strides to make that next step to get to the next level. Sorry about that. Um, so next, I want to move right into um, our superlatives. But before I move into our superlatives, the parents, I just want to let you all know that we will begin our workouts um, on April the 12th when they come back from spring break. I know they'll be returning to school, but more, I will send out more information in the parent group chat. So now for our superlatives, my first award is my coach's award. My coach's award is going to go to uh, Bernard Fuller, who's a junior, and Joseph Briscoe. Joseph is a senior. Um, Joseph is a dual enrollment student, and Richard Bland will be graduating with an associate's degree in May. And he was also a uh, second team our region 3A. Congratulations, Joseph and Bernard. My next award is my most assist award. The most assist award is going to go to Clarence Claiborne. Uh, CJ led the team in assists. Um, he averaged five, five assists per game, and he was our floor general. Uh, he kept everything in place. He was my, my next coach on the floor. Congratulations to CJ. My, be my next award is my best offensive player. Uh, this year, once again, I have two uh, best offensive player awards. They're going to go to Taheem Love, who's a, a junior, and Jaden Walker, who's a senior. Taheem was first team all region 3A selection and finished the season, season averaging 15.3 points per game and shooting 34% from behind the three point line. Jaden was the second team all region 3A selection and finished the season averaging 12.9 points per game and shooting 90% from the free throw line and 49% overall field goal percentage. Congratulations to Jaden and Taheem. My next award is my best defensive player. The best de defensive player award is going to go to Clarence Claiborne. Um, CJ was always asked to guard the other team's best player. He did a, a great job along with his point guard duties. Um, CJ probably could have did a little more for as far as scoring and, and in some other areas, but he was he had a lot on his plate as far as running running the team on the court and guarding the other team's best best defensive player. Um, CJ led us in, led the team in steals. He averaged two point one steals per game. CJ is a junior. And my last award is my most valuable player award. That award is going to go to a sophomore, Christopher Fields. Chris was first team all region 3A, and Chris stepped into a big role this year as a sophomore, playing on the varsity and starting, and he did a great job. Chris was in the top four in, four, in five categories for the team this year, scoring, rebounds, assists, blocks, and steals, and he was playing in a, in a post position. He still has some room for improvement and the sky's the limits for this young man. Chris was third in scoring. He averaged, he averaged 11.5 points per game, 10 rebounds per game, 2.5 assists per game, and 1.4 blocks. He had four double-doubles with points and rebounds. And uh, Chris was third in scoring on the team, first in rebounds, fourth in assists, first in blocks, and fourth in steals. Congratulations, Chris. Once again, I want to thank all the players and parents for a great season, and I'm look, looking forward to the 21-22 season. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Massenberg. Coach's Award, Joseph Briscoe. My name is Joseph Briscoe, and I'm a player on the varsity team at the high school. And I just want to talk a little bit about the season. But before I do that, I want to give a big thanks to all the coaches, Coach Lawson, 
and the parents for making our season possible. This season has been a very interesting and difficult season having to deal with coronavirus and it leading to our schedules being messed up, practice time, and social distancing, wearing a mask, having to check our temperatures every day. But overall, it was a good season. We had a good run, even though we didn't end up where we wanted to be. But at the end of the day, we learned a lot, got better. And also, we were the only school that didn't have no cases of COVID-19. We didn't have to quarantine or cancel any of our games. Because we did what we had to do. And we stayed focused and locked in. But again, I just want to give a big thanks to Coach Lawson, all my coaches, the parents, and just the community for giving us our season and making sure we did what we had to do. Thank you. Awesome job, Joseph. And you're exactly right, because that's what Petersburg does. We do it correctly. Coach's award goes to also Mr. Bernard Fuller. The assist leader, Clarence Claiborne, who Coach Massenburg called him the coach on the court. Let's hear from the coach on the court. Clarence Claiborne, um, I played basketball this past winter sports season. As far as the season goes, we had a pretty good season. We made it all the way to, we went 62 in the regular season. We made it all the way to the regional championship. I mean, things didn't go as planned. We didn't get the ultimate goal of getting, winning that state championship. But as far as the season goes, I feel like we did a pretty good job. The more the guys came together with the new guys coming up from JV on the varsity, I feel like I feel like next season we'll, we'll be good. Um, for my coaches, I really like, I promise you, I really appreciate y'all. Y'all made, y'all had to do the same thing as us. We had to stay disciplined, keep our mask on. As far as if, so if you're one of your family members are having another event, you, shy, you might have had to shy away from it to save the season. And that's, a big and that's a big commitment to your team to step away from your family, to make sure that your players can play the game that they love. So I really love and appreciate y'all for that. I promise you. As far as my guys, I love y'all boys, bro. For real. We've been through a lot. <laughs> We've been through a lot. The thick and thin, through the arguments at practice, all of that. We've been through a lot. Um, we didn't get we didn't get to the ultimate goal. Uh, to my seniors, I apologize. I really do. Because it's y'all last year. And with everything going on with COVID, I know y'all wanted it this year. So I apologize to that. What it means to be a Petersburg athlete. What it means to be a Petersburg athlete to me is you have to be a go-getter. Like, get it out of the mud. Nothing, you, us being from Petersburg, being a Petersburg athlete, people are always looking down on us from the start to the finish, no matter what. And even if we prevail and do more than what they expect us to do, they still gonna doubt us. So being a Petersburg athlete means you have to go get it. And I appreciate the coaches for making it, for making it known, making it known from the jump that we gotta go get it. And people are always gonna look down on Petersburg. Right. People are always gonna look down on Petersburg. So that's what I mean. Like, but we gotta go get it, get it out of the mud. Like, it's just plain and simple. We're not gonna get nothing. We never got nothing handed to us. So like, and I really appreciate the coaches for making it known, making us go hard and practice every single day, every single day. Thank you. Thank you, CJ. Best offensive player, Taheem Love. Best offensive player, Jaden Walker. Best defensive player, Clarence Claiborne. Most valuable player goes to Christopher Fields. Congratulations to these young men. And now acknowledgments about our boys junior varsity basketball team.
a few words from Coach Rashid Hines. Hello, everybody. Coach Hines here. Before I get started, I want to give a special thanks to Principal Fields, Coach Lawson, Coach Massenberg, Coach Jackson, Coach Love, and the parents. Without you all, this season would have been impossible. I know it was a tough one, but thank you. I really want to say thank you. With that being said, another season is in the books. Um, it's been a very interesting season. Uh, we had a lot of ups, we had a lot of downs, but one thing about this group of men that we've had this year, um, they've learned how to become mentally tough, even if it's from staying in that bubble from the COVID, if even if it's from having um, injuries on the team, so we lose and keep players throughout the season. They stayed persistent, they stayed ready, they worked hard every day. It gave me everything they got. And as a coach, that's all I can ask for. And we'll live with the results at the end of the day. Um, our season didn't finish how we wanted it to. We finished up four and five. But within that, within those nine games, we've learned a lot of lessons. Um, our kids, our players, they gotten better skill-wise. They got better mentally-wise, physically-wise. They are mentally ready for the next level, whichever that may be, even if that's varsity for next year, for our sophomores, even if it's JV again for our middle schoolers and our ninth graders. For my eighth graders, this was their first year playing organized high school basketball. Um, it was definitely a learning lesson for them. Um, they, as they seen, players are bigger, faster, and stronger. So it was definitely an adjusting period for them. But like I said at the beginning, I feel like they got better as the season went along. Um, I'm anxious to see how their progression goes throughout the summer, just as well as my ninth graders. Um, for those ninth graders that I had this year, this is my first time coaching them as well. Um, again, I'm also anxious to see how they return for next year. You know, some of my ninth graders I may not have next year, but you know, at the end of the day, that's what we want as a program. We want our best players to be able to play on varsity level. And summertime is very crucial, very important time for our players. Um, so if I'm not able to coach my freshmen again, you know, I, I, I would be high, I'd be a little bit upset, but it's kind of bittersweet. Um, for my 10th graders, my sophomores, my second year players, uh, I, I love them to death. Uh, it was a very entertaining crew. Um, learned a lot with them. Um, we've been through a lot, uh, but I know that they they will be ready for next year um, varsity level basketball. Um, um, with all that being said, I'm proud of the young group of guys that I had this year. Um, it was a tough season, again, uh, from traveling to schools, from practicing, checking temperatures, to having the season, to not having the season, to losing against some of our key players. Again, they stood tall. They stood through all the tribulations that we, they had to go through, and they still finished the season out on the high end. Um, again, I, I, I wouldn't, honestly, this season was worth a lot. I learned a lot as a coach. And now, for our special awards given by Coach Bill Lawson III, our athletic director. You might have already heard about the athletes that I am going to recognize at this time. I am very proud of our athletes and what they have achieved. For indoor track, Jonathan Bolden finished second in the 55 meter in the 3A regionals. Israel Watkins finished first place in the 55 meter and first place in the 300 meter in the 3A regionals. For the Virginia High School League State Meet, Jonathan Bowden finished 11th in the 55 meter and Israel Watkins finished fourth in the 55 meter and fourth in the 300 meter. For wrestling in the regional tournament, Israel Watkins finished third place in the 160 category. Keith Young finished fourth place in the 285 category. Isaiah Evans finished as runner up in the 120 category. And Isaiah also participated in the Virginia High School League State Tournament and finished in fifth in his 120 category. For girls basketball, we had young ladies to make the all region team. Ashanti Wright, First team, all region. Janai Houston, Mariah Jones, and Tanaya Williams all finished second team, all region. Tyasia Green Crawley finished as honorable mention. Boys basketball team, 
Our young men that made the all-region team are Christopher Fields and Taheem Love, first team all-region, Joseph Briscoe, and Jaden Walker finished second team all-region. I would like to also thank all of our parents and players for going above and beyond this year. It was great to be able to make it this season with no COVID, back COVID cases. Thanks for your help in keeping everyone healthy. And also, I would like to thank the administration for working with our athletes throughout this season. And thank you again for participating. Thank you, Coach Lawson, for everything you continue to do for our program. Here's another look at our recipients for the special awards. Let's hear from Israel Watkins. My name is Israel Watkins. I did indoor track and I wrestled and both seasons was very good. I like to thank the coaches that um, took time to like actually have this season due to coronavirus. And I really appreciate them for um, allowing this to happen for my last year. Uh, my teammates was like very good, although I had like three on wrestling, but they still was like a tight group of teammates that like kept us strong throughout the coronavirus. And I really appreciate them. What it means to be a piece of our high school athlete it means a lot to me because I, I really have pride for the Crimson Wave and everything. And I'm really like glad to be part of this high school. Although, yeah, yep. Thank you, Mr. Watkins, and we're proud of you as well. Continuing on with our recipients. Here's an additional award that came in from boys basketball. The Virginia High School Coaches Association named Taheem Love to first team all state for the 3A division. Congratulations, Taheem. Additionally, congratulations from the Richmond Times Dispatch. All Metro boys basketball team, honorable mention goes to both Taheem Love and Christopher fields. Before we leave you, we would like to acknowledge our seniors, the class of 2021. You'll take a look at a few pictures from our senior nights held throughout the season. Congratulations to our senior members. Again, we wish to extend a hearty congratulations to all of our student athletes, our coaches, our parents, and our community of supporters. The 2021 Winter Athletes showed up and showed out beautifully despite battling a worldwide pandemic and tackling a new way of learning through virtual learning with the Petersburg Virtual Academy. We congratulate you. We're extremely proud of you. Thank you. We also like to thank you for watching. We thank you for supporting our Petersburg High School Athletics. Go Crimson Wave. Have a good evening.